Are you prepared for what's about to happen? A massive star is nearing the end of its life, and the entire cosmos seems to be holding its breath. Its name is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant that looms like a swollen ember in the constellation Orion. For centuries, it has shone brightly above Earth, a silent sentinel in the winter sky. But recently, something changed. Betelgeuse dimmed, unexpectedly, dramatically, as if something deep within it had shifted. Astronomers across the globe turned their instruments toward it, wondering, is this the beginning of the end? Some believed it was dying. Others thought it might simply be stirring in its long final phase. But one thing was clear, this was no ordinary flicker. Betelgeuse, known officially as Alpha Orionis, is one of the largest and most luminous stars visible from Earth. If you could place it at the center of our solar system, its surface would stretch beyond the orbit of Jupiter. It's more than 1,000 times the diameter of the Sun, and over 100,000 times more luminous. That brilliance comes at a cost. The more massive the star, the faster it burns through its fuel. And when that fuel is gone, a cataclysm follows. In 2019, the Hubble Space Telescope captured something extraordinary. Betelgeuse had expelled an enormous cloud of hot gas, a massive surface eruption on a scale never before observed in a red supergiant. This violent convulsion released a vast plume of plasma, hundreds of billions of times more massive than any solar flare we've seen from our sun. That cloud of ejected matter temporarily obscured the star, creating the unusual dimming witnessed from Earth. It wasn't the supernova, but it might have been a warning. A preview of what's to come. Betelgeuse is believed to be around 724 light-years away, though its distance is difficult to measure with precision due to its shifting outer layers. Despite that span, its death will not go unnoticed. When Betelgeuse explodes, it will unleash a wave of energy that will light up our skies. It will shine brighter than the full moon, so intensely that it will cast shadows at night. For weeks, it will be visible during the day, a second sun in the heavens. For months, it will dominate the night, brighter than anything we've seen before. The supernova will be breathtaking, but not deadly. Betelgeuse is too far away to cause harm to Earth in the traditional sense. But even distant supernovae can have subtle, long-term consequences. The real danger isn't just visible light. It's the invisible radiation, X-rays, gamma rays, and cosmic rays, that follows in the aftermath. If a supernova occurs close enough, these high-energy emissions can strip away a planet's protective ozone layer. Without that shield, life on the surface would be exposed to intense ultraviolet radiation from the sun. That exposure could trigger a mass extinction event, slow and deadly. Thankfully, Betelgeuse sits safely beyond that threat zone. But a new discovery has added a layer of unease. Some types of supernovae, especially those surrounded by thick disks of material, can emit powerful, long-range X-rays. When the explosion's shockwave slams into this surrounding matter, it can generate X-ray radiation intense enough to reach across 150 light-years. Such an event could damage a planet's atmosphere months or even years after the initial blast. Then, long after the light has faded, cosmic rays would arrive, traveling near the speed of light, continuing the bombardment. These effects could unfold slowly, silently, invisibly. Evidence suggests traces of a rare isotope, iron-60, have been discovered in deep sea sediments and on the moon, pointing to a supernova explosion within the last few million years. Though not deadly at this distance, Betelgeuse reminds us of the raw power of the universe. It also challenges our assumptions about the so-called habitable zone of the galaxy. Too close to the galactic core, and the rate of supernovae is too high, irradiating planets before life can thrive. Too far out, and there aren't enough heavy elements to form complex chemistry. Life, it seems, must walk a narrow line, sheltered from extremes, but rich in complexity. And Earth, for now, is balanced on that delicate edge. So, what will we see when Betelgeuse finally collapses? It will begin with a brilliant point of light, so intense that it pierces daylight, like a hole burned in the sky. At night, it will shine so brightly that shadows will stretch behind us even without the moon. 
People across the world will look up and feel a mix of awe and unease. A celestial giant will be dying in plain sight. For more than a year, that glowing beacon will remain visible, changing, fading, but never forgotten. Then, slowly, the light will dim. The supernova remnant, glowing gas and dust, will persist for years, visible to the naked eye. And finally, it will vanish, leaving only memory and myth behind. Will this happen tomorrow? Next year? A hundred thousand years from now? No one can say. But it will happen. And when it does, the entire planet will bear witness to the death of a star. A cosmic farewell. A brilliant ending. The final breath of Betelgeuse. And when that moment comes, we will all be watching. The sky will never be the same again. Betelgeuse, the star that once shimmered above winter skies, the red eye of Orion, has exploded. The brilliant light that once cast shadows in the night is fading now, slowly, silently. But its story is far from over. Because when a star dies, it leaves behind more than light. It leaves behind echoes. It leaves behind scars. It leaves behind the seeds of creation. The blast wave from Betelgeuse's supernova is still traveling outward, at thousands of kilometers per second, sweeping through the interstellar medium like a storm of fire. It carries with it not just destruction, but elements, carbon, oxygen, silicon, iron. These are not random particles. These are the building blocks of planets. Of oceans. Of life. You and I are made of atoms that were once inside ancient stars. So when Betelgeuse dies, it is not the end, it is a kind of beginning. In the vacuum of space, a vast shell of glowing gas begins to spread. A supernova remnant, a shimmering cloud of dust and energy, glowing across the spectrum. Infrared telescopes will see it as a ring of warmth. X-ray observatories will watch it pulse with heat. Radio dishes will listen to its static whispers across centuries. And for years, decades even, we will watch this cloud evolve. Expanding. Cooling. Becoming. At the heart of the explosion, something strange is left behind. A dense core, no larger than a city. A neutron star, a collapsed remnant of unimaginable weight. One teaspoon of its material would weigh more than all the buildings in Manhattan. It spins rapidly, perhaps hundreds of times per second, sending pulses of radiation like a cosmic lighthouse. A pulsar, ticking endlessly in the dark. If Betelgeuse collapses into such a remnant, it will be one of the most closely observed neutron stars in the sky. But if its mass is too great, even that won't hold. Gravity will win. And it will vanish into itself, becoming a black hole. In the years following the explosion,